Hey, Dr. Osborne here. Today, I wanna to talk about the connection between gluten sensitivity and POTS. POTS, what does that stand for? Postural tachycardia syndrome. Some refer to it as postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, but it is a form of autoimmune disease that affects the nervous system, specifically the autonomic part of your nervous system. That's the part of your nervous system that does things without you having to think about it. Like when you stand up, your heart automatically adjusts to pump your blood against gravity versus sitting down. When you eat food, your blood and your nervous system automatically will start to begin the process of releasing those chemicals to help you digest your food, right? So autonomic processes are under the influence of the autonomic nervous system and POTS is a disease where that part of your nervous system becomes disrupted. Some people report a lot of gastrointestinal problems. People report dizziness, especially when they're going from a seated position to a standing position. Some people also experience headaches, including things like migraine. So if you have been diagnosed with POTS, pay very, very close attention because we're gonna dive into some of the newer research on the connection, again, between gluten sensitivity and POTS. Now, in this particular study, what you're looking at here, the conclusion, the data suggests that celiac disease is more common in POTS than the general population. Additionally, recent evidence suggests an autoimmune basis for POTS, meaning POTS is a form of autoimmune disease, just like celiac disease. Remember, we know that gluten is one of the very well-established and documented forms or causes of autoimmune disease. Now in this study, the authors go on to say that this could be a common pathological mechanism, meaning the autoimmune process to POTS could be actually caused as a result of gluten exposure. Now, there's also a high incidence of self-reported gluten sensitivity in people with POTS disease. A lot of people with POTS go gluten-free and actually report feeling better and doing much better. Now, I'm gonna twist, take a twist for just a minute because I wanna show you another study on how gluten can cause vitamin B12 deficiency. Now, how is that related to POTS disease, you might ask? Well, the number one deficiency I see clinically in people with gluten sensitivity is vitamin B12. That's because gluten damages the area of the small intestine and the stomach that help you to absorb B12 from the food that you eat. Now, recent literature is suggesting and showing that people with POTS disease have a greater likelihood of vitamin B12 deficiency as well. Now, underlying point here, vitamin B12 is necessary to make adrenaline and noradrenaline and acetylcholine. Why is that important? These are the neurotransmitters that drive your autonomic nervous system. Remember what I said earlier is that POTS is a disease of the autonomic nervous system. Vitamin B12 deficiency is important for producing the nerve chemicals that allow your autonomic nervous system to function properly. And we know that gluten sensitivity can cause B12 deficiency. We also know that B12 deficiency is very common in people with POTS disease. Now, in this research study, as you're looking at it here, I'm gonna put it up on the board for you. Is there a relationship between gluten sensitivity and postural tachycardia syndrome? Here's, here's what these doctors have to say. We've noticed that patients with POTS were placing themselves on a gluten-free diet. What they did in their studies, they took these patients that were going gluten-free and they analyzed them for celiac disease and here's what they found in their conclusion. 4% of patients with POTS had serology and biopsy proven celiac disease. That means that these people that had POTS, they didn't know they had celiac disease, but when they were tested for gluten antibodies and when they were tested via a scope with a biopsy, their results came back positive for celiac disease. Now this is significantly higher than the general population, about 400% higher, meaning that people with POTS are 400 times more likely to have a gluten related issue. This is the first study to suggest a potential association between gluten related disorders and POTS disease. And that's why it's so important because there's not a lot of research on this topic. So I'm trying to draw the lines in between what we do know and the outcomes of people with POTS who are either self-proclaimed gluten sensitive or found out they had celiac disease, went gluten free and felt better. Obviously, if you're struggling with POTS and you haven't attempted a gluten-free diet, that's gonna be one of the big takeaways from this video. Now, what are the key takeaways today? Let's put them up on the board for you. Number one, 
POTS is thought to be an autoimmune disease. Number two, gluten is a known cause of autoimmune disease. Number three, POTS is a disruption of your autonomic nervous system. Number four, gluten is a known neurotoxin that can damage the autonomic nervous system. Number five, people with POTS report feeling better on a gluten-free diet. Number six, people with POTS frequently report GI symptoms similar to those with celiac disease. Number seven, people with POTS were 400% more likely to have celiac disease. Number eight, people with gluten sensitivity often develop vitamin B12 deficiency. Number nine, B12 deficiency is linked to POTS. So you make the call. Is there a connection between gluten sensitivity and POTS? Is that connection that gluten is a neurotoxin or is that connection that gluten causes vitamin B12 deficiency leading to a disruption in your ability to make the hormones and the chemicals that regulate your autonomic nervous system? I think it's both. Look, I've seen a number of people come to me in my nutrition clinic with a diagnosis of POTS do infinitely better when they changed their diet and got the correct vitamin and mineral supplementation. So I think the connection exists. If you've got POTS, you might wanna try for yourself. Now I'm gonna do two things for you. Number one, below this video, I'm gonna put a link to a quiz that you can take for free to determine whether or not you have a gluten sensitivity to help you understand whether going gluten-free might be the right move for you. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link to my favorite form of, of vitamin B12, methylcobalamin. If you have an autonomic nervous system problem and you are vitamin B12 deficient, Remember, most forms of vitamin B12 contain artificial flavors, sweeteners, genetically modified ingredients. I'm just gonna put a link to my favorite form of high dose vitamin B12 down below this video to help you out. This is Dr. Osborne wishing you excellent health. We'll see you in the next video.